What's up guys, welcome back. So OCG metagame breakdown for end of April, early May, I guess, for their, I was about to say new format, but that's not really true. The thing or the reason why I'm getting back to these, it has been a while, right? A couple of weeks is, is that Duelist Nexus is out. First weekend, I believe, for the OCG. So let's take a look how much of an impact, at least for the first weekend, so still early results, but you know, new pearly, new archetypes, new stuff. So I'm eager to see that. How is their format developing? Uh, which again might be, you know, um, a tell for us TCG players within the next couple of months. So as you see on the right side here, the OCG metagame breakdown. Again, for uh, multiple sources in the video description, we'll always start with Road of the King first. Pearly is leading a little bit like a, a big percent, 1-1% one, one over Mathmech, but it's still there. Um, not tier 0 yet but who knows probably not but it's still you know the the stronger decks but you know there are other decks you'll be seeing within the next couple of moments that um you know are heavily side decking against stuff like pearly and meth mag branded tournament runic labyrinth vanquish souls vanquish soul and more uh decks so the first one i guess is pearly um, seems like a very straightforward deck list, as you know, the OCG is running the Crystal Beast engine basically because of the discard cost, right? Get two searches, which is again another discard for potentially their spells. You know, most of them are like a hero lifts. Um, you know, there's multiple videos, including mine uh, from a couple of weeks ago on the channel. Um, again, you know, those draw six combos. Spurly is definitely um, because again, they got two new cards in the most recent set, Duelist Nexus. Um, you know, the one that sets the traps directly from the deck which is quite scary really really scary but we now see that you know even people are main decking stuff against like the mirror match and i'm looking at ghost ogre for example in the main deck but other than that i don't think we see any surprises the kaiju is in the side deck no santa claus anymore as we've seen a couple of weeks ago so that's basically it for pearly but um, you know keep an eye out for pearly especially for the tcg as well uh, the next one um is interesting even though it's meth mech <laughs> but you know what i mean right new combos new stuff and uh, this particular decklist featured on Word of the King, you know, like, um, as he mentions, is, is that, like, like, as you, you know, again, sources are in the video description, like, one card combo, one circular, is really scary. It, 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 it takes up so many resources from your opponent, especially because you can end on multiple negations, like, you know, just take a look, uh, one circular ends on, you know, featuring, like, the new, uh, well, the new Link 6, I guess, Viral Dragon, Dark Fleet, Neo Tempest, Terra Hertz. I guess you know the combo, you know, if you're somewhat into a uh, Math Mech as well. Um, a couple of interruptions, and that, that that's the thing why it's so scary. Uh, especially because of Super Factorial as well. Again, that's not changing. That's the combo we in a TCG already know. But it's... It's so scary that one card, and it's searchable because of multiple ways, even small world is in the deck, because like, as Road of the King also mentions, is, is that, you know, the, the hand traps are basically an extra bridge as well to either, you know, depends, right, search one of your combo pieces or search a kaiju and the hand trap. So that's, um, that's kind of scary. That's really, really, really scary. Math neck. Eager to see how this is going to develop for us in the TCG as well. So next up we have Brandon, and the thing is, is that as you know in the OCG they still only have one Brandon Fusion for like, oh, I can't remember when it was limited, but uh, you know a small bestial package. Again I have some builds up on the channel as well, but you know it's it's played this through by multiple people on YouTube, so definitely take a look or watch out for this, right? For Brandon as well. Very strong. It's what, what was it, like the third place? as in representation and top cuts, so that, that, that's really cool, double call by, um, but again only one branded fusion, and even with only one branded fusion the deck is still doing so good, um, so that's a tell for us TCG players where we still have three branded fusion, exceed encore again super staple in the OCG format for now, tournaments, <laughs> the deck is still alive guys, Jesus man, <laughs> oh but uh, this, the thing is, is that um, and that's something we don't have in the TCG is uh, Chaos Ruler. Chaos Ruler, and that's something I guess is it a new addition for them? Is it their what, what, what is it called? Revolution Synchron, you know, the one that um, could itself make what is it makes itself level one. Go for Ancient Fairy Dragon, eventually, you know, go for Chaos Ruler and Ancient Fairy Dragon switch. Even though with the Errata, the card is still kind of busted. Um, and you know, the Errata doesn't really do that much. At least that's, that's something that um, 
is how I feel about the card, right? It's still very, very strong. But the addition of uh, Revolu Revolution Synchron, I guess it's cool. That's nice. Okay, that's cool. The next one. <laughs> Look at the decklist, man. The thing is, is that, what was it? The skill drain was, uh, was limited. Skill drain limited to one. I think in the TCG it's still at three, no? But the thing is, is that they are running the... Is it new? I'm not so sure. I, I, at least I haven't seen it. Um, but again, I might be wrong. Um, Tyrant's Tirade. I hope I pronounced the card's name right. It's very similar to Skill Drain. Then again, you need to... What is it? Tribute two monsters. So, the thing is, is that... And it's also, I believe, in the extra deck. As you know, like, Runic also got a new fusion monster in the newest set. Duelist Nexus. That... What is it? Um, again, we, you can easily get it on the field with their instant fusions, right? It's very similar to the other ones. But it has an interruption effect. And so that's cool. You know, emptying up... Emptying up your extra monster zone. Plus... But I think it's whenever your opponent adds a card from their main deck to the hand, you get an extra monster, an extra token. So that's basically two monsters, you know, in order to be tributed by the, the Floodgate trap. But again, this is so scary. Reminds me of Master Duel Runic. It is what it is. So this is basically it. Road of the Kings uh, analysis. But um, I mean, it's really cool. A couple of new techs, new uh, you know cards from a new set. So that's nice. So let's uh, zoom in. The first ran well, random deck list, you know, was able to find on social media, Facebook, looking at uh, Ready for Duel, Carol Angel Store as well. The first one is Vanquished Soul. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. You're getting that in a DCG as well. But uh, I've seen some Vanquish Soul builds. I have tried out the deck a couple of months ago, more so pure. And it seems that it's, uh, I guess, best running pure. Um, but I have high hopes for this, especially for the TCG. But who knows? Who knows? Vanquish Souls or Soul. The next one <laughs> is a biggie for now because of Sayak and the TCG, but Super Heavy Samurai is kind of disgusting. Um. Yeah, it's super heavy samurai, so I'm not so sure how, you know, I don't need to explain everything, but again, it's a newer deck for us TCG players as well. But uh, we'll see how long is the deck going to survive, because, it, it, you know, I think we all have seen boards of, of crazy, crazy negation stuff. It is what it is. Uh, we see even Exo Sister, you know, using the, the spirit as well. Um, Shifter, is a, Shifter is a 2, no, if I'm not mistaken, but, you know, it's Exo Sister. Let's move on. Oh, this is also one of the new ones being Alter, guys. They got more support, but I've tested it out a couple of weeks. Uh, it's really cool. I enjoyed the new support, but it's, and that's something that I've read uh, online as well, it's 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 completely different how Alter guys functioned, right? In the past, it was more of a Stun deck, slowish build, slowish deck, while the new support makes it somewhat of a combo deck, right? So, I liked it, but I get what, uh, you know, some people are seeing. But uh, Altergeist, kinda a good rogue deck, for now. Next one, Sky Strike. I believe on their most recent list, didn't they get uh, Becca Kagari at 3? I think so. And with, you know, some additions in the OCG double engage as well. Spellbook package, so, ooh, that's really cool. Who knows, we might get that in the TCG as well. Oh, the next one is Rescue Ace. I tried out the, the deck, was it last week? I believe it was last week. Um, you know, based on some of the OCG top uh, deck lists. Again, very similar to this one. Bar Maxi, of course. But again, high hopes for this. Simply because the new support, I believe two new cards. One of, the spell, one, one of them being a spell. And um, what was the other one? Uh, that was a spell and something else. But the deck is super consistent. But it's super reliant on uh, their big boss that you know, sets four traps or four spells and traps from the archetype directly. Negate that and then you have a good chance against Rescue Ace. So I guess it's a good rogue. And last, Manadium as well. They also got more support, like a new level 2. Uh, this guy is running Cyberstein with a continuous spell that, you know, you don't need to pay. Uh, the Prisma engine is there, featuring Hero Lift, so who knows? You know, people in the TCG might pick that up uh, as well. But, uh, you know, Hero Lift is kind of crazy, featuring Prisma. A uh, small Infernal one night package featuring Isolde, that's cool. Okay, Cross Sheep, yeah, we know the combos. I featured that one a couple of weeks ago. So that's really, really cool. I like the OCG format, even though it's, you know, super early. But um, I have high hopes for Duelist Nexus. Even though, as Rodot the King uh, mentions, Duelist Nexus doesn't have that big of an impact just yet. But we'll see. The diversity is there. So that's, you know, for me, that's really nice. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave me signing out. Peace.